Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at theserverside.com and you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. Right now, I want to talk to you about commits and specifically squashing your commits with the git rebase command. There's actually no git squash command, but there is a rebase that allows you to do squashes and that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this example. Now, they say you don't sail a ship without knowing what your final destination is, so I wanted to just demonstrate what I'm gonna do in this example. I'm gonna pull this particular repository off of my GitHub or GitLab account. And as you can see, there's three branches here. Red is master, green is develop, pink is feature. And the develop branch has five commits on it. I'm gonna squash that all into one. And the feature branch has three commits. I'm gonna squash all of those into one as well. And so I'll end up with something that looks like this. I'm gonna have this base commit, which everybody spawns off of. And initially, I've got these you know, long histories. After I do the squash, all of these on the develop branch will just be squashed into E prime. All of the commits on the feature branch will just be squashed into B prime. And so we'll have a really nice history. This crazy insanity goes away. We end up having something very, very nice and handsome right here. And then finally, I'm gonna take these three branches and merge them all into one. I'm gonna merge them into master. And so I end up with a history that looks like this, where I've got the base commit, there's three branches, each with one commit on them, and then each of those commits gets merged into master, and then this is all that I end up pushing back to GitHub or GitLab. None of this craziness, just all of this beauty. This is my Git repo over on GitLab. I urge you to clone this and do this example on your own. It's also on my GitHub account. It's called Squash Commits Example. And I'm gonna squash these one, two, three, four, five commits into one that's on the developer branch and these three commits that are in one branch into one commit on that feature branch. The way you do that, if you wanna follow along at home, is just clone this repository. You find that URL there and then you open up a terminal window and you just type in git clone and put in that URL. That'll clone it to a folder named squash commits and I've already done that as you can see and I'm going to move into that folder and right now it looks like I'm on the feature branch. Now is the feature branch what I want to merge? I'm going to take a look at this graph here and the first branch that I want to merge is the develop branch. I want to merge all of these commits right down into one. So I come over here, I need to do a git checkout of develop because it's on the develop branch where I want to do all of this merging, all of this squashing. And I always like to take a look at the graph that Git will produce just before I do these squashes. So Git log graph, one line, branches, and there you can see this is a, a visual display inside the bash terminal that shows me what my what my different branches look like. Here's the branch of interest. This is the develop branch. And what I want to do is I want to take these one, two, three, four different commits and squash them all into this one commit here, E. In order to do that, oh, by the way, shout out to my friends in India. In order to do that, what you need to do is you need to run the git rebase interactive command dash I. And to squash all the commits in a particular branch into just one, you have to specify in this command the commit ID of the parent branch from which the branch spawned off. So you can see this branch here, its parent commit ID is this one right here, 953F018. In fact, this is gonna be the parent commit both for master, and it's also the point where the feature branch broke off as well. So they all share that common point of, of splitting uh, from one another. But in order to merge these one, two, three, four, five, I need to specify that ID. The ID is 953F018. Typing in this command will open up the interactive rebase. And it's going to say to you, pick one commit that you want to merge all of the others into. Now, I want to merge E into it. So I want, uh, yeah, there's India H. G, F, and E. I want to merge all of those into E. So you pick E and then you say, you use the letter S or you can type in squash for all of the different commits that you want to squash in. 
Now this is the nano editor. I'm not a big fan of nano, but at this point in time, I have to do a write. So I do control O, click return to write that out. Then I do control X to terminate this window. Now, as I terminate this window, it's gonna to say to me, you need to put in a commit message so that it goes into the history. And I'm merging everything down right into this E commit here, right? I'm on this develop branch. So all those green commits are gonna go right down into E. I'm actually gonna call this E prime. So that's actually gonna be the commit. From here, I click control O again, click enter, click control X. And now I have squash those commits. Let's take a look at the log again. You notice I don't have that crazy five commits there. I've only got one commit and that one commit is E prime. But I've got all of the files that were a part of all five of those commits in E prime here. So that now that's been squashed down. Okay, I want to do the same thing for this feature branch here. Let's squash this feature branch down. Uh, and we've got one, two, three commits on this feature branch. So you can use a, a slightly different syntax when you're squashing with, with uh, a smaller branch. If you just, if you can count the number of commits on the branch, rather than specifying the commit ID of the parent, you can actually just say, again, there's one, two, three commits there I wanna squash. You can just say git rebase interactive and then say head tilde three. And again, it will open up. Oh, and look at this, git status. I almost tried to merge again, I'm on develop. I gotta git check out the feature branch, right? I need to, I was I need to get onto this feature branch in order to do this squash. Okay, so let's do that again. Git rebase interactive head three, now that I'm on the feature branch. Click return. And again, it's that same sequence there, which ones do you want to squash? You got to pick one. If you don't pick one, it's not going to work. Control O to write that out. Enter to, to have it written. Control X to exit out of here. And now it's actually going to want a commit message. And in this case, I was bringing everything down into on the feature branch. And the first commit on that feature branch was B. I'm going to make this commit ID B prime. Control O, Control X. And now let's take a look at my graph of my the log graph. And I can see things are getting very, very pretty here. So the original graph looked like this. It was all crazy stuff. And now I've just got two commits on each branch, B prime and E prime. And so this is all looking very, very handsome. Now actually, this is a, a full tutorial over on the server side. So I've got a couple of diagrams on the server side, but you can see I'm kind of getting to this point right here. So I merged B, C, and D into B prime. I've merged, not merged, squashed. I squashed E, F, G, H, and I into E prime. And now I've got the master. Maybe I want to merge these two into master. Well, I guess that's the last thing that you would do. Really, I've done squashing. So I've now really cleaned up my git commit history. I mean, this git log graph really emphasizes that you can see how crazy it was before right that was the initial one and now the quash has turned it into this but i guess the last thing you want to do is just merge all of your different commits together so i'm going to check out master and you can see master's only got one file in it a.txt but why not merge everything in e into master so let's just git merge develop. I said E, but that's the develop branch. It's going to ask for a commit message. I'm going to say control O, enter, control X to exit. And now if I do an LS command on the master branch, you'll notice that I've got one, two, three, four, five new files. Those are all the five files from the five commits that were in the, was it the develop or the feature branch? I guess that was the develop branch. And so now git merge. And what am I merging now? I'm going to merge the feature branch. Control O, enter, Control X. Now let's take a look at the graph again. I'll actually do an LS. Notice we've now got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So now all the files are in master. So everything's been merged into master. And let's take a look at the graph. 
you can see now that we've got a, a really nice history. Here's the master. And what was the master built from? Well, the master was built from building that one commit on the feature branch. And it was also built by integrating that one commit on the develop branch. And by the way, there was a commit that was always on the master branch. That was commit A. It's already on the branch. You don't have to merge it in there, but it is part of the history. And all of that spawns off of this initial commit 953F018. And so there you go. That's how you squash commits and then merge those files back. If you wanted to be real crazy, you could potentially push this back up to your server. And if you did, you would end up getting a, a nice git commit window that looked something like this. So um, I'm not going to push this back up to GitLab right now, but I had done that in the past. And GitLab then redisplays this particular repository like this. And you can see the initial, the base that everybody spawned off of. There's still three spawns, but there's only one commit on each, and it all comes back to master. And so that's what GitLab looks like right now, or that's what your GitHub directory would look like if you push to GitHub. That's what your other developers would see. They'd be oh so impressed with your ability to just write everything into one commit and contrast with that, contrast that with where we started, which was this crazy history right there. And there you go, that's all there is to squashing your git commits. I hope you learned something here. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there and we've got lots of great tutorials plus just a lot of articles on everything that's going on in the world of enterprise software development these days. If you're interested in maybe following me and my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.